Napoleon probably didn't say that an army marches on its stomach, but what I do say is that cyclists definitely pedal on theirs, whether it's gels, cake or coffee for fueling a Sunday run, or something a bit more substantial for fueling a multi-day bikepacking trip. We need fuel to keep going forwards. Today we're going to look and see whether the British Army 24 hour ration pack is the answer to our adventure dreams. We'll cover what you get, how to cook them, the pros and cons for the bikepacking cyclists and decide whether it's a yes or no to pack on our bikes. But first, a very quick history lesson. The travelling armies of the Romans and Genghis Khan would take their own livestock to fuel their fighting forces. But ration packs as we know them began to evolve around the time tin food became standard issue, around World War I. Tinned meat, vegetables and hardtack crackers were the order of the day then and were mostly hated. Tobacco, toilet paper, snacks, other treats, medicines and vitamins started to be included to keep soldiers going, at least as far as the front line anyway. Now ration packs around the world have reached a high scientific spec for theatres of combat to fuel, sustain and motivate troops. Civilians can buy them online from surplus stores and they fuel preppers' excitement more than zombies and bunkers ever could. I used to carry one in my van when I was a coast guard and they're a good idea to stick in the boot of your car if you're ever at risk of severe weather conditions. One of the main focuses of disaster relief in any country is getting these high calorie ration packs on the ground as soon as possible. The British Army 24 hour ration pack is a multi-menu option that will satisfy even the most discerning of gourmet cyclists. You can buy out or short dated packs for 10 to 15 pounds and they will last a couple of years beyond the date that's printed on them. In date packs will cost you between 20 and 25 pounds. The weight of the complete ration pack is 1.8 kilos, but once you've stripped it of the excess items, more of which later, the weight comes down to 1.6 kilos. Let's take a look at what we get in them. All oh, right, so what do you actually get them on these ration packs? Well, I am not going to go into tons of detail because during my research for making this video, I discovered that there are already about 1500 million billion videos out there all covering ration packs in various guises. In fact, there are some amazingly dedicated, weird and wonderful channels. So we'll go through this relatively quickly and think about what things are relevant to us as gravel bike, bike packing riders. The first thing you will get are three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This one actually comes with an extra packet of rice, more on which I'll talk about in a bit. There's your main meals. You have a dessert. This case is cinnamon cake. You have what we used to call, or I used to call, nutty. Now, that would be like snacks. Um, in this case, sorted peanuts, got a nougat thing, uh, some cheese oat biscuits. I've already eaten the cheese actually on the first night. On to drinks, cold drinks, you get fortified energy drink. Now, obviously this is kind of a little bit like um, we would be buying anyway, and you get 45 grams of this. This is enough to make up uh, a 500 ml bottle in exactly this uh, portion that we've got here. We get two of those in two different flavors. We also have a fruit flavored drink. In this case, we've got uh, lemon and apple. And I've looked at the ingredients on this and this will also give us quite a ton of um, energy in terms of sugars. Hot drinks, uh, two coffees, two teas. Tea's okay, instant, meh. And we have, hot chocolate, dun dun dun. This hot chocolate is being put to one side because I'm gonna have it in a minute. Now I've put what are called the common items in this handy Ziploc bag that comes with it. Now these are the items that come with every single ration pack that you get. That's a good thing and a bad thing. We'll talk about that in a bit. But what we've got included in this uh, is a chili sauce. We have sugar, um, whitener, dental gum. We've got waterproof matches in there somewhere. Enough Steri tabs to deal with six liters of water, alcohol wipes, and a recyclable spork. All of these things are handy, but probably only once. We've finished riding for the day, we've got our bivvy out, and now it's time to have some well-earned food. So I've got my trusty Trangier here that I've had for the best part of 35 years, and I've got my food into uh, one of my mess tins here. Now, mess tins are shaped square for a reason, because the packaging of the food is too. So what we'll do is we pop that on the stove, and then we add as much water as you can get in there. Now, the amount of water doesn't actually matter, but as I'll explain in a bit, there's a reason why I try and add as much water in there as I possibly can. Now, stick a lid on that and we wait for eight to 10 minutes. Now, whilst we're waiting for that to cook, let me just explain one of the pain in the backsides about some of these menus. This menu comes with chili con carne, uh, which comes with a separate rice pouch. Now, obviously we've got to cook both of those separately and that's not something I can do on this unless I cook twice round and then some of my food's gonna get cold. So just be a little bit aware of some of the menu options that you choose. Of course, just as the meal's ready, 10 minutes later, of course, it starts to really hack it down with rain. So the next step, get this out here. Can eat that in just a moment. That remaining water 
that we've used there. I'm going to pour into this thermos mug and trying to keep the grass that's blown into it out. I've put two thirds of the hot chocolate in this thermos. May need a little bit more hot water in there to mix it up with, but generally speaking, 550 mils of that. And I have a ready-made meal, nicely heated up. And here is my piping hot meal ready to eat, ready to fuel the next however many kilometers on the bike I'm gonna do. Pro number one, these are pre-cooked. It means you can eat them cold. So in a worst case scenario, you get to your campsite, your jet boils run out of gas, your trangiers run out of mess. Uh, you've been riding your bike all day, you're exhausted, you can rip open the top, get your spoon in and fuel yourself up. Pro number two, don't forget soldiers, of course, are really active people. So these have been scientifically fortified with vitamins and minerals uh, to help recovery. And I had noticed in some of the, uh, the ingredients, things like turmeric, which are a well-known anti-inflammatory. Pro number three, alongside being fortified with recovery goods, it also is packed full of calories. Each one of these packs contains 4,000 calories, which should see you pretty much over most summits on your bike. Pro number four, this is a no faff meal. It's super easy to cook. You put it in some boiling water, you take it out, you eat it. Pro number five, now ultimately, we ride our bikes for fun. The last thing we wanna do is get into a campsite and eat some food that isn't very nice. These ration packs, I have to say, are really tasty. Pro number six, these are MREs, meals ready to eat. They are reheated meals, which means if you eat it out the bag, the only thing you're gonna to need to clean is your spoon or your spork. Pro number seven, if you pick your menus wisely, some of the breakfasts are actually cooked meals, which means you actually get three cooked meals a day. Now for me, 4,000 calories and three cooked meals, plus all the snacks and everything else to go alongside it, it's probably a little bit too much for me to actually consume during a day. So over a three day ride, two ration packs will suffice nicely. Pro number eight, you get everything in a bag, ready to go. It's one less thing to worry or forget about. Now for the cons. The first one is some of the meals, if you don't pick your menus carefully, as I said earlier, will require two pans to cook them. Con number two, obviously you get these common items every single time you buy one of these. Now that's something I'm gonna talk about in a bit, but it does mean in certain circumstances, you're gonna end up with some surplus items. Con number three. Now we're gonna go into detail in this in just a second, but if you think of this as a three meal scenario, then the cost per meal is actually quite expensive than some other options you could choose. And con number four, obviously every single one of these meals, all of the nutty, all of the drinks, they all create rubbish. Now, whilst this is a con of using these ration packs, I can't think of any other option that wouldn't result in some kind of rubbish. The most important thing is that you take it home with you. Now, I mentioned just now in con number four that some of the other meal options may work out to be cheaper. 20 to 25 pounds for three meals compared to something like these Wayfair meals, which are recommended by Duke of Edinburgh, uh, and they come in at about four or five pounds. So let's say for the sake of argument, three meals, 15 pounds. Now, obviously, we get three meals in our ration packs, uh, which cost us 20 to 25 pounds, which means, depending on the cost that you pay, that there's a five to 10 pound deficit for the extra items that you get in the 24 hour ration pack. Now in this list here are four of these, which will make up two liters of energy drink. Now, if you compare that to the torque comparison, they come in at about one pound 50 per sachet of this, six quid, leaving four pounds to account for all the rest of these items. To be fair, with all the extras, it pretty much breaks even. So in conclusion, do I think this is a good option for the bikepacking cyclist? Well, in short, yes, I think they're absolutely brilliant. Ultimately, in the same way with Einstein suits, it's one less thing to have to think about. A multi-day bike ride is often a logistical nightmare. You have so much to think about and being able to order two or three of these bags of ration packs is one less thing to concern yourself with. When you take into account the fact that most of these meals taste absolutely fantastic, they are also scientifically designed to support high performance. For me, it is the perfect solution for our bike packing adventure. Now, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please hit the notifications bell. That bit's really important so you get to see each video as it comes out. But also, and this really, really helps my channel grow. If you can give me a thumbs up right now, it's about here somewhere, and also leave a comment below. What I'd really like to know from you is what would be in your ultimate 24 hour ration pack if you could design it yourself. Now, I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.